Hello, I am a real catfish, and today I will be showing you how to build a Red Imperial Royal Guard version of the TIE Interceptor. This uh, basically is a tutorial that I promised in my last video, so I am going to show you how to build one of these beautiful normal TIE Interceptors, but in the colours of the Royal Guard. Um, this was a legend ship, but I'm pretty sure that it recently became canon in the Star Wars... Uh, what was the TV show? It was the uh, racing... Uh, the, I don't know, it was set after episode 6, but before episode 7, I think. Right, so we're going to start off. You need red wool, black wool, dispensers, glass, iron trapdoors, buttons, and sea lanterns. Now, the iron trap door I've chosen because out of all the trap doors... <sighs> See, this is a very old design, and this is a problem with being an old person. <laughs> an old Minecraft player is all the blocks I've got feel kind of old. So I'm going to possibly use the crimson trap door. We'll see how it goes. But So, <clears throat> you place a block down, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven eight, nine, and then you go through across, so one, two, three, and then one more, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I finally feel that I found some editing software that will actually work, which is really good because I've been quite, I was using DaVinci Resolve before, and for whatever reason, with the most recent update, it just went a bit buggy and a bit weird. Um, so with the black, you go directly above the red, and then you go out by four. So that's very similar to the previous. To be honest, this is pretty much the same tutorial as with the other TIE Interceptors. However, it's obviously based upon a very different, very cool ship. So you come back out again, and then one, two, three, four. And yeah, I'm just going to keep this going. Um, in the future, with future videos, obviously there will be other things like tutorials for AT-80s for example, or um, ATSTs. that's another one I'd like to do a tutorial for. My ATST isn't the greatest, but for example like that Lambda class shuttle, a bit of a longer tutorial, but a tutorial that I think people would enjoy and would welcome. Um, I'm also thinking of... Um, on another part of the map, I have a new project going on. And in my head, the way it's looking is that it will be a, just quickly, uh, here is another four block. So just remember it comes out by four. So four, 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 and then down to the bottom. So on this side, you come up and back and there, over here. And then you come forward all the way. And then one, two, three, and four. So with this big project, basically, I really love Roman architecture. I really love also mythology and I really love Star Wars and I really just love mixing these things together. Um, in previous builds, and to be honest, I might actually show off some previous builds because I have previous worlds that are both Star Wars themed or anything like that. Uh, on the channel, I already have a couple of videos that just kind of tour. Uh, Star Wars what? Is it me or does that feel off? How is that wrong? Huh? Is it wrong? It's not wrong. Okay. Um, I have other previous Star Wars builds. So one, two, three, four. And then it comes across. And basically, obviously with those Star Wars builds, most of them are unfinished. And it's always something that just kind of makes me go, hmm. But the problem is, obviously, with a lot of these things, is they are projects, you know, they're one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. These are things that you're not meant to so much finish as it's just the journey you take when building it, you know. Two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Um, if that was to be a possible future series then I would not have it as a tutorial but more as a kind of build along so you can come along for the ride you can watch the build as it's happening uh, there would be more free for 
uh, long term videos, you know, the kind of videos that just last that tiny bit longer, but they have hopefully got that watchability, you know, you get to what, you know what, I'm pretty sure it'd be very similar to what I'm doing now, <laughs> which is talking over my build, you know, to be quite frank, if this was a proper, really, really real tutorial, I would most likely be talking less and just showing you how to build the TIE Interceptor. Obviously, I'm showing you how to build the TIE Interceptor, and, you know, I am getting the tutorial across. However, I could be putting more into the 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm still giving you the 1, 2, 3, 4, but I'm also giving you the talk as well. <laughs> not the talk, that's uh, not, not my remit, but you get the idea. Um, I yeah. So with the editing software, I finally switched across to Hit Films, which I don't know. My big thing is is I could buy something like Photoshop, but I'm not paying twenty odd quid a month just to and twenty quid means twenty pounds in case you're American. But I'm not paying twenty pounds a month just to edit videos, which. I'm not making money off of this. I don't expect that I will, to be honest. I might do, you know, if I do, yip yip hooray kind of thing. You know, I'm not going to complain. But I'm not at the minute and I'm not spending 20 quid a month on something that I might not ever make that kind of money back with. And as I said, I really do love this stuff and it is a bit of a passion project. You know, I would do this purely because I enjoy it and that's why I'm doing it. Right, quickly, I'm going to actually show you how to do this, because with the last TIE Fighter tutorial, I didn't do it properly. So, <clears throat> put down the dispensers there, they're meant to be the guns. So, you come across, you make a cross like such. And then you come around the back, and you make another cross. Uh, the nice thing about what I was trying to get across last time with my last video with the TIE Interceptor build was... A uh, big thing with this build is the fact that it looks so spherical whilst also being so small and it also fits the pilot in really nicely as well and a big part of that is just using these crosses so with a circle that you know with a, 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 a ball shape that this this small you need to have it look as ball shapey as possible whilst also still Obviously it's Minecraft, you know, you're using cubes to make a sphere, so it's a bit difficult, but once you get it, you can start putting it into other builds, you know, and obviously not every TIE Fighter is got this ball cockpit, you know, some of them have, uh, some of them have more can-like, tube-like, uh, one like a TIE Bomber, it has long, straight tubes rather than it being a short tube type thing. And then, as you can see, we go down here, one, two. Right, now's the moment of truth. So here's the iron door. This is what I've always used. And the reason I've always used an iron door is because it just fits better with the general grey TIE Fighters. However, with this TIE Fighter, it's quite obvious that it doesn't belong. So, that is a lot better. And I won't need buttons, which is quite cool. Oh button so there is the uh, tie interceptor the Royal Guards tie interceptor uh, sorry if I've been talking a bit quickly or if I've gone too fast oh there we go you see this is why we do a little circle like that so you always make sure to add I always use a sea lantern because it just to me looks like a um, engine uh, I'm pretty sure TIE Fighters have one singular engine in the middle, from what I remember. You know, I've played enough Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> but, you get the idea. Here is the finished build for the TIE Interceptor, uh, Royal Guard Edition. So, in... Uh, I'm pretty sure the Royal Guard version has some fin extra somewhere, but... This is my version, and this is what I wanted to build, this is what I wanted to share. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, uh, the video has been fun to make, I've enjoyed doing it and I'm really feeling excited because to be quite frank, uh, I actually now have the video upload skills and also the Wi-Fi and all the other bits and bobs to actually do this properly. 
I've had the laptop since September. I've had the recording software. I mean, not the software. Uh, I have an Elgato recording device and a Blue Yeti mic, and I've had those since I was like 15. But my problem is, is that I've never had the actual uh, <laughs> laptop for it. And then when I did eventually get the laptop for it, it turns out that I just didn't have the correct setup actually for my room kind of thing. And I wasn't feeling motivated and it was just a bit bleh. But uh, I'm hoping to get a lot more videos out. I have, uh, I'm between exams at the minute <laughs> and between coursework. So I'm hopeful that being able to get little tutorials out like this should be a lot quicker and a lot easier than it could be. So yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like, please leave a comment, um, you know, the comment can be what you want me to build in the future, you know, I want people to tell me what they want to see kind of thing. Uh, if you want to share the video, go ahead, you know, the more times people see the video, the more people get to build a similar type of TIE fighter. And, you know, as I say previously, I've already got a TIE fighter into um, TIE interceptor tutorials. So having a Red Royal Guards TIE Interceptor could be another cool addition to your fleet. And yeah, uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.